All right, what is up everybody? My name is Hyken and today we're doing something a little bit different. I am over here in Streamlabs OBS. I'm on a brand new Twitch profile and basically what I want to show you today is how to do your own stream overlay from scratch not using any of the themes or anything like that. I'm not gonna go into alerts or anything. You should definitely use the theme for that. But for your webcam frame and the rest of the stuff on your screen, really, you should have everything you need right here within OBS. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with the webcam frame. So let's go ahead and add a color source. And these are stuff that I was doing for a different one. So we're gonna go ahead and add frame. Two. Sorry, just adjusting my microphone. All right, add new source. And now we gotta decide color. Um, so this will obviously kind of depend on like what you're doing with your stream and all that. Um, let's, go with, let's go with this color. This is, this is kind of nice. All right, so we'll put this over here for now. Now, there are a couple different options that you can go from, with from here. So my webcam uses individual pieces for the bar. What you can do instead is just use uh, these boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the webcam in. And uh, where is it? Video capture device. Add source, add existing source. And it's not gonna show up because I'm using it in OBS. All right, hold on, let me get that figured out. Okay, here we are. Uh, the webcam is showing now. It wasn't working because I had OBS running before I had Streamlabs OBS running, so that was the issue. Sorry about that. But, um, all right, so we're gonna bring this over here. We're gonna shrink it down because we don't want the webcam to be that big. And now that we have the approximate size of what we're going for, we can start to shrink this down. So let's double click that, get the properties open. And now we take the height and we just decrease that until it's the same on the top as it is on the bottom. Uh, that looks pretty close. Let's actually move the webcam up. What you can do, what I'm doing right now, you can hold down your left click and use the arrow keys to move it up pixel by pixel. So just like that. I think that was 10 that I just moved over, I think. All right, so now let's get the sides about even with the top as well. Uh, yeah. All right, that looks good. All right, so now, now that we have our webcam where we want it, we can go ahead and lock that source down. And then where we have that is fine, so we'll lock that down. Now we're gonna add another color source. And type that name in, add new source. And then what's our second color gonna be? Should we do red? I don't know, would that, would that look good? Let's do, let's do this gray. Yeah, that'll look good. So now, we're gonna move this over to here. And let's bring that down so that it's on the bottom there. Move that over so that it's about even with that. And then we'll make the top level with this. And then we will double click that, go into properties shrink it down. I think that I want this to be a little bit smaller than the other one because that's gonna give us some nice contrast in that cam frame. So let's do that. Done. Um, now I'm gonna make that look even. Um, sorry, my roommates are talking outside the door and I just want to make sure y'all can't hear them. <laughs> Not like they're saying anything bad, but okay. Yeah, right there. That's, that's pretty decent, right? Um, what can make this really stand out more though, is if we add some text. So this account is called Zast Z. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add some text and I already did this on a different side different scene um, so we're gonna go ahead and do it again though except on this one so we're gonna just do the name 
And then we're gonna find a nice font as well. Um, unfortunately with the Google fonts, it won't preview the font for you. So you have to scroll through all these looking at them. Um, that's a increase the size of the font too. You want, what you want to do is increase the size in the slider here. You don't want to stretch it on this because that's gonna cause the pixels to distort and it's just gonna look bad. So we are also going to add, we're not gonna add a gradient unless you want. This is obviously up to you. I'm just trying to give you inspiration here so that your stream can be looking unique. All right, we'll add the same color outline as what's on this color right here and we'll grab it move it over put it right there you know i actually want to give you a different color for that um let's do and obviously you can use the slider but um no we definitely want it to be a color let's make that a little brighter too there we go there we go okay so I actually want to make that a little bit bigger too, I think. I think we'll go up one more size. Yeah, because if you don't have a logo yet, then this will work fine. But if you do have a logo, you're going to want to go ahead and use that like I do on my stream uh, because it's just better for branding and all that. But if you don't have a logo yet, if it's like your first or second stream or if you're still relatively new to streaming, then go ahead and use this because it's better. it's better than nothing. It'll get your name in your followers' heads or whoever's watching head and uh, hopefully get them to follow you. So now what we can do is add a group, make the folder cam stuff, and then we're gonna take it and we're just gonna chuck everything in here. It's gonna mess with the order of everything, but that's fine, we'll just fix that really quick here. Name on the top, video capture device, frame detail under that. And there you go. And now what you can do is you can unlock this and you can just move this around however you want. You can put it wherever you want on your screen. However, because I'm looking that way on my webcam, right? I don't want my webcam to be over here because it looks like if I'm watching the stream, it looks like I'm just looking off into the distance here. We don't want that. We want me to be looking at something like my gameplay. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here it's not locking but you know you get the point all right so now um this is great this is an awesome first start you'll obviously want to put some color filters on your webcam i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show you how to do that because that's honestly a topic for another video that could be an entire video by itself uh so we're just gonna move on to what the other stuff on your stream should be so we're going to add let's do Obviously you put an alert box there, right? You want that. Don't put your viewer count on your stream. It's a bad idea, just don't do that. You're gonna go to stream labels here, add source. And as you can see here, I did recent follow down there. We're gonna add another recent follow. I went ahead and I followed this account so that there would be a name showing up. <laughs> okay, so recent follow two, and then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna go to, not that far. Most recent follower, great. Now. It's a good idea to just go ahead and use the same exact font that you did before. I still like this font, so we're gonna go ahead and use that font again. This font might be a little too thick, but I honestly think it's fine. And then also we will be leaving that white or whatever color you want your text to be. Make sure that it's easily readable though. You don't wanna make your viewers strain to read the follower, right? You don't, you don't wanna do that. So I just stick with white most of the time. And then we'll add an outline. We will make the outline the same color as this, this pink. So um, I'm gonna go into cam stuff, go down to name. And then we're gonna take a look at this. Okay, we're back and those colors are the same now. So what we can go ahead and do is put this somewhere where it makes sense. We're also going to want to 
increase the size just a touch not that much uh eh. Yeah, I think that this is too big. I think 48 is too big. So I think that we're going to leave it with, with 36. That's actually fine. So now you have a couple options where you can put this. You can put it under your webcam somewhere about here, somewhere where it's lined up with that. Um, right, you can do that. Uh, if you want, you can put it right on top here. That looks fine. Um, depending, It really depends on the game you play. I actually have uh, recent follower, recent sub, recent tip. Uh, those are all up on mine. I keep them over here. Uh, so you can really do whatever you want. If like right down here in the middle makes sense, then go ahead and do that. Um, you know, you can adjust this until both side pixel numbers are about the same. They might not be exactly the same when we passed it. See right there, it, it's, they're never going to be the same, but it, this is as close as you're going to get. So we could leave that nice and centered if we want. Um, and then if you have a donation button, you could also set up recent tips and all that. You could just do the same exact process that I did. It's pretty simple. And honestly, this is all you really need. You don't need a ton of overlay. You can add stuff when you get affiliate. You can add recent sub. Uh, you can add a sub goal, all that stuff. But when you're just starting out, this is all you need. This is really it. You just need the recent follow. You need a nice looking webcam design, which I hope that I've given you here. And then, of course, you'll need alerts, too. But that's fairly straightforward. And um, that's also an entire topic for another video. So I won't get into that here. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video, everybody. I hope you all enjoy that. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. And uh, let me know if you do like this series, because I would be more than happy to do more of this. All right. I'm out of here. Who wants some? Who wants some?